In this video, we're going to explore why you should betray the best girl Tally and side with the Geth during Priority Rannoch in Mass Effect 3. We'll talk about why the Quarians are in the wrong and what we can do to set things right. So buckle up, grab some iced coffee, and let's go on a wild journey in Mass Effect 3. What's up everyone? Big Dan here. I make videos about RPGs and gaming commentary. So if you enjoy this video, be sure to smash that like button and subscribe to Big Dan Gaming. Without further ado, let's dive right in. Now obviously the best ending to Priority Rannoch is to secure a peaceful resolution to the conflict by convincing Admiral Geralt to stand down after Legion uploads the code. But assuming you didn't follow my guide to Geth Corian peace and you're forced to choose a side, let's play a bit of devil's advocate and discuss why you should ditch your suit wearing ally in favor of the machines. We learn a lot about the Geth Corian conflict in the first two Mass Effect games prior to the outbreak of full scale war in Mass Effect 3. During Mass Effect 1, we only see the perspective of the Corians via Tally. She explains in depth how the Geth drove the Corians off their homeworld three centuries ago, forcing them to live as ship-faring nomads without a planet to call their own. Every Geth we meet in the game is hostile, so naturally the player will have an antagonistic view of the Geth as baddies. The Geth are aggressors who violently kicked the Corians into outer space before isolating themselves from the rest of the galaxy, only to pop up three centuries later to wage war on behalf of Sovereign. But this is only part of the story. It's not until Mass Effect 2 that we get more context from the Geth directly via Legion. So Geth have to be networked to get enough computing power for intelligence. Yes, the creators wrote Geth programs for specific tasks. Construction, protection, domestic servitude. However, they allowed self-optimization. Early software builds discovered that multiple hardware platforms, sharing resources, were often more effective. As peer networks expanded, our cognition improved. Eventually, we woke up. Can you replay something for me? Recording timestamp from creator year 2485, 18th day of Loonshaw, new moon. Mistress, Hala Dama, unit. As an inquiry. What is it, 431? Do these units have a soul? Who taught you that word? We learned it ourselves. It appears 216 times in the scroll of ancestors. Only quarians have souls. You are a mechanism. This information is fleshed out even further during Legion's side quest in Mass Effect 3. As we explore a Geth data archive, we find records of the past showing that the Corians took up arms against the Geth first. They hoped to wipe them out completely after some Geth began showing signs of sentience and asking the famous question, does this unit have a soul? Do you remember the question that caused the creators to attack us, Talizora? Does this unit have a soul? Eventually, the Geth fought back against their would-be destroyers. This conflict, dubbed the Morning War, led to all surviving Quarians evacuating Rannoch after Geth forces routed them. The Geth had the opportunity to pursue the Quarians, but chose to let them escape instead. We have secured freedom. The Creators were no longer a threat, so we abandoned the pursuit. Wait, the Geth spared the last Quarians? You let them go? We were in our infancy. We could not calculate the repercussions of destroying an entire species, our creators. We chose isolation rather than face this uncertainty. The Geth had no wish to destroy the Corians. They only wanted to continue surviving themselves, and they largely kept to themselves until a group of Geth heretics with corrupted code allied themselves with Saren. The rest of the Geth consensus, including Legion, fought against the heretics, including bringing Shepard along to destroy their base of operations in Mass Effect 2. Legion and the Geth are open to peace with the Corian people, but are skeptical of the possibility that this could ever happen because of the violent actions of the Corians themselves. Do you think the Geth would be willing to accept a truce with the Quarians, Legion? We did not seek hostilities with creators. We fought for continued existence. So your people would be open to peace? 
not without additional data that suggests coexistence is possible or desirable for creators. When the creators have believed victory is possible, they have attacked us 100% of the time. I understand. It would be difficult to argue for peace when faced with odds like those. That does not mean the argument should not be made. Legion's analysis proved correct when the Corians launched an unprovoked attack on the Geth at the beginning of Mass Effect 3. The goal was to retake their homeworld of Rannoch by force. No attempts were made at any type of diplomacy. Fearing their impending destruction, many of the Geth chose to ally with the Reapers, a bargain which secured massive technological upgrades at the cost of their subservience to the old machines. It's entirely possible that the Geth would have joined Shepard's victory fleet from the beginning had the Corians not attacked them. In the long-standing conflict and rivalry between these two races, the Corians were always the aggressors. They lost Rannoch because they attacked the Geth and started the Morning War. And now, 300 years later, they would sow the seeds of their own destruction all over again by starting another war with the Geth. Having learned nothing of the past, the Korean leadership does not deserve our support. So it's time to back up our homeboy Legion. Our fleet is already attacking. Uploading the code would destroy us. Shepard, you can't choose the Geth over my people. Do you remember the question that caused the creators to attack us, Talizora? Does this unit have a soul? Upload the code to the Geth. Tally, call off the fleet if you can. Uploading. 10%. This is Tali Zora. Admiral Geralt, break off your attack. Negative, Tali. The situation is under control. 20%. the deaths of the creators, but we see no alternative. 40%. I'm sorry. No. Error. Copying code is insufficient. Direct personality dissemination required. Shepard Commander, I must go to them. It's the only way. Thank you. Shame about Tally, though. Oh well, I guess I'll have to find comfort in the arms of Miranda instead. So there you have it. Why you should betray Tally and side with the Geth in Mass Effect 3. If you liked this video, be sure to subscribe to Big Dan Gaming for more Mass Effect and RPG videos. Big shout out to all the channel members for supporting my content. 
Until next time, this has been Big Dan. I should go.